You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have Lynn Smith back. Lynn is a fan favorite. She's a regular on Greater Brockton. One of these days we're going to count up the number of appearances, Lynn, and we're going to figure out how many you've gone on. But welcome back. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for the opportunity. Oh, always. So we're talking, we're getting into Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, the end of the month. Thanksgiving is late this year. It is. It's the 28th. 29th is the event we're going to talk about, mm -hmm. and then the 30th is the holiday parade. That's correct. And then it'll be, you know, Christmas kind of started before Halloween and Thanksgiving started. I, I don't know. You, yeah. you start looking at TV. Is Hanukkah early this year, too? Is you know it? what? I have no I idea. I have is. to look it up because there's a, every year Hanukkah goes by a Jewish calendar, and the yeah. Jewish calendar is never the same twice. I think it's early in December this okay. year well, as well. Okay, so. two sets of presents, good deal. There you go. And I like a Christmas tree, so there you, there go. you go. So we're talking November 29th at the War Memorial the historic War Memorial Building, we're going to have another evening with James Edgar, which has turned into an annual tradition. It is. I think this is our fifth event, and it's a lovely kickoff to the holiday um, season. We do it at the War Memorial Building, which is at 156 West Elm Street. It's really designed for kiddos, say, kindergarten through fifth grade, but it's for the young at heart as well. Mm -hmm. We started at six o'clock. We're finished no later than 7.15 or 7.30, so it's not a late night, so that you can get a good night rest for the parade the next day. And we tell the story of James Edgar, who started a dry goods store in Brockton in the late 1800s, and who was a consummate businessman, a consummate salesman. And one day he was trying to figure out how he could increase his sales for Christmas. And he said, aha, I'm going to invite a very special character to sit in my toy department and ask the kiddos what they'd like for Christmas. So before Macy's, before Gimbel's, before Filene's, we had the very first department store, Santa. And so this evening tells James Edgar's story, but it also tells about the whole immigrant population of the late 1800s, the industry that was Brockton, and it reinforces the stories for kids about being kind and being humble and giving back to the community because that's what James Edgar is known for. Now, we know the James Edgar park and playground, which was five huge house lots. And when he passed away, his daughter Eva was the one who donated that land to the city for a playground in her father's name. And at one point there was an Edgar school. It's now housing mm -hmm. because the school was small. It didn't have a lot of grades. And over the years they built more like mega schools. There weren't as many neighborhood mm -hmm. schools. But it's nice housing over there. The park is one of the nicer parks in the city because it's been maintained. It got a grant. It has a splash park. And it has skateboard. a skateboard. It has a handicap playground Basketball, that Rotary put in. Baseball. And yeah. Legion baseball play, has played there for years right. in the heart of War II, Tom Monahan's district. Um, right. um, so this event, James Edgar. The history of James Edgar is fascinating. I know John Marion's worked very hard over the years to, to, to you know, USA Christmas Town and everything like that, but it did start here first. And Brockton yeah. had historic firsts traditionally. That's right. You, you think about the electricity being here, Edison coming and wiring it, the, the train that has no grade crossings any place in, in the city of Brockton, so nobody right. can be unsafe unless, unfortunately, they choose to be. They're not going to get hit by a train with a car because there's no, nothing that crosses a track, unlike oh. in the other in the Bridgewaters. So this event, it looks like it's jam-packed. There's all sorts of stuff going on. It's at this really event. a lot of fun, and I have to thank everybody who comes and volunteers their time. So the brass quintet from the Brockton Symphony plays, Matt Cunningham and his great singers, the Brocka Bellas. It's with a B now because they're all women come. Um, we have 
Craig O'Connor, who is a consummate actor. He's going to be in Massasoit's Beauty and the Beast that's coming up in December. He plays Mr. Edgar and reads his story to the children. Okay. Mayor Moises Rodriguez will come and read The Night Before Christmas to the children. And if we're very, very lucky, we might have a special visit from someone from the North Pole. And then, to end the program, the B-City Reps dancers are coming. And you know that song, All I Want for Christmas is You. We are going to get up and boogie wow. our way into the holiday season. So I cannot thank enough John Marion, the USA Christmas Town Group, all of my volunteers, all of the performers. The kids have a great time. Oh, when they say, we believe, we believe, we believe, and then that special VIP walks in unannounced in the back, it's magical. And I'm sure if I know you, Lynn, there's cookies and uh, Oh, and there's goodies. always there's, something. There's, always there's some candy canes involved. Candy canes, okay. Uh, involved with this one. Because, you know, one of the things that James Edgar was famous for were his Children's Day outings. July 3rd every year, he would take 2,500 kids to a local Highland Park, mm -hmm. and they would have a whole day of fun, games and picnics and rides and everything else. He would rent every single trolley that was available in Brockton to take these kiddos to wow. the park. James Edgar had a horse named Pauline that had beautiful long mane and he would ride the streets of Brockton. Everybody knew James Edgar. The children called him, you know, Uncle Jim because he was so good to the kiddos. He was so good to his workers. He gave them all stock in his company. He changed the opening time from 7 a.m. to 8.30. He closed Tuesday afternoons so they would have a weekday afternoon with their families. He was really an amazing philanthropist, an amazing businessman, and he gave Brockton that first department store Santa. Wow, that's, ama that, that's amazing. You mentioned B-City reps, and I know we have a, like a tie into that because Nubi Rateau used to there work you here. Go. And, and Cassandra, Cassandra. Rateau. Yeah. And they were in, they, they were performing, I think, at that uh, Shoe City Festival mm -hmm. that was being done downtown earlier yeah. in, in, in September or October. The months all blend together. Yeah. It gets a little colder, but it's going to be warm in the War Memorial that night. I, yeah. can, I can tell you that because this has been, like you said, this has been going on for about five years. And we have big lifestyle cutouts. You know, the kids love to take pictures. We have the characters from Frozen and we have the characters from, who's that, um, Bumble something or other that's the um, abominable snowman. Yeah. And we have a backdrop of Edgar's department stores for um, selfies. So it's a, a program that really moves along. It keeps the kids entertained, it, but it teaches them a little bit about Brockton history as well. A spoonful of sugar helps the history go down. I love it. Well, you were bringing it alive earlier, and thank you for doing that. It's really important to know where you came from so you know how you Absolutely. get there. Absolutely. Because it's Brockton a has a place. rich, rich history. Yep. The, the history of Brockton is amazing. I don't think I know everything about it. I'm learning, um, I'm taking a history course in Bridgewater right now because I want to know a little bit more right. about that. But Brockton, the Historical Society helps it come alive. Bill Hogan with his, his, all of his artifacts and different events that he does. I mean, who knew? We have a postal museum here too. There so the history go. of Brockton, I always, you know, thought about who was the school, who were the schools named after? You know, you want to see a plaque when, when the library gets renamed officially in, front, in, in, in Tommy Kennedy, there's going to be a picture of him or a painting right. and a little bit of history of him and all of the stuff that he did for the city. That's Mary right. Cruz Kennedy over at the library. Yeah, I mean, it's Senior Center. So this is great. So, so this is great. So Friday night, November 29th, 6 o'clock at the War Memorial. We're done by about 7.30. And then it's free, and you can go home and get a good night's sleep because the annual holiday parade is the next day, which is November 30th. Sounds great, Lynn. Thank you so much for all you do and for coming here to help promote it, and uh, we'll see you at both. Thanks for the okay? time. Thank Appreciate you. it. You're welcome.
You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.